What's up guys, Corey Sandman, Sanhagen here. We got a big one today, O'Malley versus Cheeto. Cheeto obviously had no business being in the cage with O'Malley. Really tough showing by Cheeto. Awesome performance by O'Malley. Got to give the guy all the credit in the world. Um, although he was fighting like a homeless looking Cheeto. So um, let's get into the breakdown. Real quick though, we got a sale going on on the website for my instructionals. Use code March24. Elias will put it like right here. Um, go to the instructionals. They're 30% off this month. With that code, let's get into the breakdown. Peace. Okay, all right. I'm gonna try to spend this whole breakdown not shitting on Cheeto the whole time, but it's probably gonna turn into me shitting on Cheeto the whole time, okay? That fight really frustrated me because it was one, just unbelievably uncompetitive, Two, I feel like a dummy for thinking that Cheeto was gonna do better because that's l almost literally what all of his fights look like unless he gets some type of knockout. And three, I just think that it's not that cool that Cheeto even got that opportunity in, to begin with because like I said, that's what we all should have seen coming. I don't know why I bought into the Cheeto hype. That was really stupid of me. But let's talk about the things that O'Malley did to whoop Cheeto's ass, okay? which to all the credit in the world O'Malley deserves because he obviously always comes to fight super prepared and he obviously like does his studying. Super awesome fight, okay? O'Malley won almost the same way that I kind of beat Cheeto except he hit Cheeto a lot harder and hit Cheeto a lot more, okay? So good on him for doing that. But instead of overwhelming Cheeto with shots and stuff like that, he started overwhelming Cheeto with a ton of feints. Like didn't give him the same look every single time because that's really important. When you're fighting a, finish, a finisher guy or someone that wants to make a read and hit you, if you do the same thing too many times, they're gonna be able to find you. O'Malley kept it super dynamic the entire time, didn't give him the same look too many times in a row and that's why he won, okay? You be a uh, dumb Cheeto, you get, you're about like four months away from like your hair and your beard being about as ugly as Cheetos, by the way. I just start changing hairstyles. Yeah, do, yeah, tattoo your face and fucking put a big tattoo, tattoo on your stomach. <laughs> um, yeah, if I tattooed my face and you tattooed you, we'd kind of look like a knockoff yeah. pair of those two. Um, all right, so Sean's fighting. Sean does a super good job of being floaty guy and grounded guy. It's really, really impressive and really tough um, to deal with when you are bouncing between the two super well, okay? Sean has a really good ability to faint and then like double faint and then attack afterwards, okay? Some of his best attacks are like this rolling one-two where he'll faint, double faint, and then he'll like roll the one-two. He really rotates big on this side of his body, which is pretty unique. Like for example, the not doing that would look like this. Boom, boom. O'Malley throws it really committed where he'll rotate, rotate. It's really good, it makes for a harder punch, usually, than just boom, boom, okay? But it leaves you a little bit vulnerable in your stance. What I mean is like, if I roll like this, I'm a little bit committed, where when I punch like this, I'm a lot less committed in my stance. But when you know how to move your feet really good, which O'Malley does, not that big of a deal. He'll just go roll the one, two, skip off to the side, be completely safe, or he'll roll one, two, step his foot back, be completely safe. It's really, really awesome on O'Malley's part. That's one of his really good attacks. He'll do it off of like a, a feint, double feint, then roll the one, two, and exit off to the side that he threw. Boom, really awesome. Another one that he'll do is he, anytime an open stance situation happens, he'll like launch this backhand super good and like be able to connect really, really hard, especially when guys lean away. Like if you lean away and I really commit myself to this, even if you lean, I'm gonna be able to hit you. Really awesome attack on there. Cheeto started to hunker and then you get the knee from hell that O'Malley landed on Cheeto. Oh! Cheeto started to hunker or he fainted at him, fainted at him, started to see this happening and just went boom and like, Absolutely broke the guy's orbital. Like Cheeto might be in surgery this week getting plates put in his face because of that knee. So I'm actually really surprised that he was even able to last the rest of the round because that must have really sucked getting hit in that like broken spot over and over and over again. But O'Malley will do kind of these feints moving backwards too, 
where when there's a step, he'll like re quick reset, faint. If he steps two times at me, he'll do it twice. So O'Malley does a really good job of grounding so that he can hit hard. When they step at him, he'll boom, boom, ground again. Or when he faints, he'll float, ground, ground, and then ground, roll one, two. Open stance, he'll be like boom, bang, bang, boom, and ground to the floor really well. It's super, super impressive. Good on O'Malley. Other than that, Cheeto is pretty much just a punching bag. Cheeto doesn't move like this very well. So like when I start doing this, like he was just absolutely styling on him because Cheeto one isn't that good. I hate to say it if you're a Cheeto fan, but he's not that good. And then uh, that sounded really mean, but it's kind of true. Agree with me, agree with me. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, he's not that good as far as like, you know, being in like the top, top contenders. Um, other than that, maybe he'll do good, maybe he won't, but um, that was pretty much the tail of the tape. Sean styling on him, landing really good stuff, but it happens because Sean can float, connect, float, connect, connect, connect. All of these feints here are a super good idea. And good on O'Malley, congrats to the champ. I don't know who he's gonna fight next. Hopefully he doesn't leave the division and then start going for double champ status. I think that that's kind of whack right now, but we'll see what the UFC decides. Peace, comment below. I love you, bye.